Hello, I've got a few useful tips to show you today. They're not tips designed to improve your playing this time, but they're all about personalising your keyboard and keeping it safe. Come up to the screen and I'll show you the first one. OK, so here's the first thing I want to show you. Uh, what you're looking at right now is the loading screen. I've just turned the keyboard on and look, Tyros Tipsters has come up on the screen. How did that get there, I hear you ask? Well, what you can do is put your own name onto the keyboard so when it loads up your name appears there. It's not a big thing but it's quite nice to have your own name on the keyboard. Now the way I got to that particular section was like this. To the right of the screen there is a button called Function, just here. If I press that, come back to the screen, we have the Functions menu. I then need to go to the Utility page and go to the tab using the tab button that says Owner. Now, just here it says Owner Name, Tyros Tipsters. So I want to change that to something else. Um, what you have to do, come down here, the Owner Name button, push it just there and along the bottom, just like you were renaming a song or a style or a registration, it gives you the chance to put your own name in the keyboard. So every time it turns on, your name will appear on the loading screen. When you've finished, I'm going to leave it on Tyrus Tipsters, push OK. And there we are. Next time you turn it on, your name will appear on the screen. Now the second thing I want to show you is, it's also in this little page here, it's called Main Picture. And what's Main Picture, I can hear you asking. Well, you'll have seen it already, but you may not have realised. What you do, if I just exit back onto the main screen, this is a screen I'm sure you are all familiar with. And if you look in the background, in between the buttons here, we see this metallic grey colour. Now that's a, a sort of a background, a wallpaper, it's sometimes called. And at the minute, it's coloured the same to match the rest of the keyboard in this wonderful sort of metallic grey. But you can change it if you want to make it look a bit more, bit more friendly, a bit warmer. If we go back in here to the Function button, and then Utility, here we are. Make sure we're on the Owner tab as well. Go to Main Picture, and it will give you a selection of colours that you can use. This is the default one, Metallic Canvas, but let's say I want to change it to green. If I push this button here, there we go, so it's highlighted. Then push the exit button again, and now back on the main screen, it's gone green. So you don't have to have it green, have it whatever colour you like, but it's just a way you can change things slightly if you want to. Now the final thing I want to show you is a, I think it's a really, really useful uh, tool to have on the keyboard. It's particularly useful if you leave your keyboard in, in, a, uh, in a room where kids or grandkids might be able to get to it and push all the buttons and change all the settings. There is a way you can lock the panel, which means you can turn on a lock and it means no matter how many buttons are pressed or sliders changed, it doesn't make the slightest difference at all. It's a really brilliant feature. Now, if I go back over to the function button again, here we go, and same place, utility. Now, on the bottom left down here, you can see there's a button called panel lock. If I go to that, it asks me to enter a pin code. Now, I can change this every time that I put it in here, but I'm going to type in one, two, three, four. Has to be four digits long, and then push OK. And then it goes to this screen. Oh, there's me in the background. Look, I'll wave to myself. On this screen, it just says Tyros 5. That's it. Doesn't do anything else. Um, now, if I go and push all the buttons, look, pull all the sliders, spin the wheel, do everything on here. It doesn't make the slightest bit of difference. It stays on this screen that says Tyros 5. And it won't make a difference until I choose to unlock it down at the bottom here. When I push this, it prompts me to put in the pin code. If I get it wrong, 
it says pin code is wrong and it won't let me do anything. Fantastic. Now, can I remember my pin code though? I think I can. I think it was a pretty simple one. Make sure you remember it, by the way. It's a good idea to write it down. One, two, three, four. Then push OK. Hey presto, we are back now uh, in action so I can use the keyboard again normally. So that's really quite a useful feature to have, I think. Particularly if you leave your keyboard in places it might get touched and played with. I hope you find that useful. Tyros tips, because we can.